Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna show you a few techniques for slowing down your video. I usually get a lot of emails asking how to stretch out the template animation so that way it's longer than the original length. So in this tutorial, I'm going to go over three methods for doing this, time stretch, looping your video, and stretching or spreading out keyframes. So what you want to do first is render your final composition and create a QuickTime movie. If you end up stretching out a render comp uh, to make it long, then you're just going to end up rendering this really, really, really long animation and it's going to take a long time. So I think it's better to just render the original video and then bring it back into After Effects, just import it as its own file and then put that video file into its own composition. So right now I have this super simple slideshow uh, After Effects template open, and I have all of my images already customized and I already rendered. So I imported my render video. If we go to the project panel, here it is, my slideshow HD. It's a quick time movie. And all I'm going to do is just grab this and drag it to the bottom of the project panel to this uh, composition icon. And this is going to create a composition that is the same duration as our original video, but we don't want it to be, we want it to be a little longer. So what we're going to do is go to the composition menu, go to composition settings, and we're going to change the duration to two minutes and click okay. So it looks like nothing happens, but what you wanna do is just zoom out of this timeline. And a quick way to do that is with the hyphen or the equal sign, so equal sign is zoom in and hyphen is zoom out. So hyphen, zoom out, and you can see that we have our video and then there's a whole bunch of blank space. So what we're gonna do is right click on our video, go to time, and then time stretch. And in this pop-up menu, we're going to do a stretch factor of 200%. So this is going to double the length of our video. And you click OK. There we go. So one thing to note is when you time stretch or change the timing on anything uh, that has video in it, it's going to slow down the video as well. So it's it all it is slowing down the animation, but the video is going to be also slowed. So let's say you need a two minute video, but you don't really want to stretch it out. You want it just to loop. What we're going to do is just uh, change this time stretch back to the original length. And you can actually go to the project panel, go to your movie file, right click, and go to the interpret footage, and then select main. And towards the bottom, we're going to go to other options section, and you see where it says loop one times, we're gonna change that to three. And we're gonna click okay. And now what we can do is again, create another timeline by selecting our video layer now that it's looped three times. And we're going to drag it into a new composition. And now the composition is the exact length of this video, but looped three times. So I have the 100 photo slideshow After Effects template open. And what I'm going to do is show you how to spread out the keyframes in one of the scenes. We're going to double click to open scene one in our render comp. We can just double click to open that up. We're going to hit U on our keyboard. This is going to bring up all the keyframes. I know this looks like a lot. It's going to be okay. We're not going to mess with individual keyframes here. We're just going to select all of them and stretch them out. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. So the first thing we wanna do, like we did before, we'll go to the composition menu, go to composition settings, and then let's just make this 22 seconds, click okay, and then hyphen on your keyboard. And you'll see that our layers are cut off right here. So what we're going to do is select a couple of these layers we're not gonna select these uh, FL01. Those are the lens flares. We don't want to extend those. We don't really need to. We're going to extend these layers that have our animation and have our color correction on them. Extend them all the way to the end of the timeline. There we go. So the next thing we wanna do is we can click anywhere in an empty space in the timeline 
and just click and drag and you can see this square or this rectangle is being made and we're just clicking and dragging to select all of the keyframes. So once we have that done, you're gonna to want to select the very last keyframe in this group. Make sure that we're selecting the correct one. It's going to be this one right here. It ends at 1209, this one ends at 1207. So we wanna grab this one. Don't click it yet. We're just gonna hover over it. We're gonna hold down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard. We're gonna grab that keyframe and we're gonna just start to drag it. So you can see those keyframes are still holding together, but they're stretching and spreading out. There we go. So in this animation, in between these big gaps in the keyframe groups, this is how long the camera is going to stay on a photo. So you can see photo two is now roughly about two seconds long. Then in between these groups is where the camera moves. And that's also going to be slowed down as well. Now you know how to actually select all the keyframes for the entire animation and just stretch it out to make it as long as you need.